Hi guys! Today I want to talk about how to protect your dog when riding in extreme weather. Normally when you're riding, you're riding in hot weather. It's very likely that it's the summer or the springtime. It's a beautiful time to be out there riding um, and that's when you want to be out there with your dog. You're going to be less likely to ride when it's freezing cold, when it's pouring rain, or if it's just really adverse weather conditions. So the first thing that you got to think about is about the extreme heat. Heat is by far the biggest extreme weather condition that you're going to face as a rider. And that's the thing that you need to think about when it comes to your motorcycle dog carrier. There are always ways that you can get yourself warmer when you're cold uh, by adding more clothes and things like that. But when you're hot, even if you don't have any clothes on, you're still going to be boiling and it's going to be hard to get your body temperature down. So we have to think about it from that perspective when we're talking about our carriers. So let's talk a little bit about the Canine Moto cockpit and the way that it was built and the reason why we built it that way. As we talked about, it's the heat that is going to be the biggest challenge and when it comes to weather conditions when you're riding, about how to keep yourself cool, you and your dog cool. The K9 Moto cockpit, it's this open air cockpit. There's a lot of places where the air can flow through. There's nothing that's really coming and trapping the heat. Uh, if you imagine, for example, a crate, imagine you had a crate on the back of your motorcycle. There is not a lot of airflow that will go through that crate to keep your dog cool. There might be some vents on the side, but it's going to be basically an oven because the sun is going to be beating down on this crate that's on the back of your bike. Yes, you're going to be moving, but it's just going to continue to raise the temperature inside that crate and it's going to make the dog completely uncomfortable and it's just really going to make them feel like they're trapped. And not only is that bad for the dog in terms of raising their body temperature like that, but it's going to really stress them out and it's going to make them fidget and it's going to make it more unsafe for you as the rider. The other issue with having something like a crate on the back of your bike that's really enclosed is it gives a lot of areas where there could be danger points for your dog. Even if you had the top part of the crate open, that leaves a lot of areas that the dog could really bash against if there was an emergency stop or if there was a tip over. Areas that are not padded. So that's why the K9 Moto cockpit is really built in this open and airy structure. That allows air to flow through and to really keep your dog cool. There are some other ways that you can reduce your dog's temperature when you're riding. One of them is using a gel cooling pad. These gel cooling pads normally last for about like two to three hours um, and it takes about like 20 minutes to recharge itself and they're pressure activated. So all the dog has to do is lay down on the gel pad. So if you had that laying on top of your seat in the canine moto cockpit, that's going to help give some uh, cooling sensation from the bottom to help reduce your dog's body temperature. The other thing that you can do is there are a bunch of cooling vests out there on the market and they're really easy to use. You can just put them in some water, wring them out, and then you put them on your dog and it's this vest um, that they wear and that also helps to reduce their body temperature. So those are two other things that you can do to help uh, in those hot weather conditions uh, when there's the, the beating sun and you need something to help cool your dog down. And that's why we built the cockpit that way as well because you don't want it to feel like they're sitting in a car with all of the windows up and the sun is beating down and we all know what the temperatures are like in cars when the windows are all rolled up and the sun is on them. So we want to we wanted to prevent that and that's why we have this nice open and airy structure. We get some people who ask about having sort of a protection over the cockpit to protect from the sun. The issue with those types of things is again, it'll trap the heat. It'll reduce the airflow that's coming through your cockpit and it's just really going to make them that much hotter. And dogs, they've got fur, they've got this natural ability to protect themselves from the elements. Um, so we suggest making sure that if you, if you are riding in really hot weather, either a gel cooling pad or a cooling vest, and make sure that you stop for breaks for water. Um, that's really the key thing, making sure that they stay hydrated, just like a human, they need to make sure that they have water all the time. Um, so that might mean taking more frequent breaks to make sure that they can rest and cool down in the shade. Most of us like to ride in warm weather, and that's completely understandable. Being in the cold can be a little bit miserable at times, but there are things that we can do to protect our dogs from that cold weather. A lot of the large breed dogs do have protection from cold and rain. 
If you think about a husky, for example, they were bred to be in really cold weather. Um, and so they have the fur that they need to survive in that type of climate. But one of the issues that's present when you're riding in cold weather is that wind chill factor. The good thing about the cockpit is because it is mounted directly behind the rider, that allows the rider to act as a wind block. So the dog isn't getting all of the wind directly on them, all of that cool air um, making their temperature go down even more. The other thing that you can do in cold weather, obviously there are a lot of doggy vests out there that you can put on your dog to help keep their core temperature up. But that's really only if you're riding in very cold weather. Um, and you just have to sort of take into account uh, what your dog can withstand and the sort of climate that you're riding in. Now, when it comes to the rain, that's something that we get a lot of questions about because a lot of the times you can't predict when it's gonna rain. You can be riding on a beautiful day and then all of a sudden it starts to pour on you. Yeah, you can pull over, but there are some situations where you need to get where you plan to be going for that day and you have to ride through the rain. One of the things to think about is just like in cold weather where we talked about the dogs having the fur and the protection um, to deal with those colder temperatures, it's the same thing with the rain. Like they are built to be outdoor creatures. So they do have natural protection against the rain. But if it is pouring, it's uncomfortable for everybody. You know the feeling as a rider when you're riding in the rain and the water is pelting down on you um, and it's just a very uncomfortable feeling. So we don't want that for our dogs either. So what we do suggest is a rain jacket for your dog. And we have the Canine Moto Rainfly that we put on Moxie. And what it is, it's just basically a rain jacket that goes over her body, has a hood so that it can protect her ears, and it really stays in place with her goggles. And that really is sufficient to keep Keep her warm in that sort of cool rain weather, but also not be so hot in the event that it's like a summer shower. Um, that keeps her dry enough and comfortable enough on the bike that allows us to ride for hours in the rain. It's just something that you have to sort of pull over, you put it on her, and then you guys are good to go. Again, I just want to bring home that idea that your carrier needs to really be built for hot weather. Cold weather we can manage, hot weather, that's the toughest part. And the gel cooling pad and the cooling vest um, are two things that you can use, but it's really about the structure of your carrier to allow that airflow. So when you're evaluating carriers and you're thinking about what you need um, to make your dog comfortable in the situations and the climates that you're riding, don't forget that it's the hot weather that's gonna be the most difficult to manage. I hope this was useful for you guys. And if you have any questions about riding in, in your climate, I know that we've got people from all around the world, so you've all got different climates. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put a comment in below and I'll come back and answer them. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.